All right, we have understood what RPA is and how we can use it to automate different processes and different tasks and how we can use it to save loads and loads of time and make our life a lot easier. But how does it all fit in intelligent automation? And why is this relevant for you that is learning Power Automate right now? Well, first of all, it's relevant for you because you're gonna be understanding how we can use, in this course, we're gonna learn how we can use AI together with RPA as well because Microsoft Power Automate offers the ability to use AI to automate really end-to-end -end processes. But more about that in a second. So let's understand intelligent automation. Intelligent automation is automating a process from the beginning until the end. A process is usually made out of different components. It's made out of uh, parts where somebody is maybe creating reports or doing manual and repetitive things like checking, creating a report, extracting data. So things that don't often change. After that part of the process is done, somebody usually makes a decision, extracts some information maybe from a PDF or makes a maybe a cognitive decision regarding a process before doing some more repetitive tasks. Now, with Power Automate and with RPA, we can automate the repetitive and the manual, as we can see in this slide. We automate the manual and repetitive tasks. But with AI, we automate the cognitive tasks. Now, what does that mean? That means that uh, we can automate a process or more of the same process, make it better, enhance it, and also automate processes end to end. Now, that is very important to understand because right now, we are learning just to automate things that are RPA related. However, we're gonna see a few examples of where we're gonna automate also AI related processes. Well, actually we're gonna see a lot of examples where we're gonna automate AI related processes. We're gonna do sentiment analysis, extracting data from invoices and receipts. We're gonna do some cognitive machine learning and much, much more. Let's take a look and let's just take a look at how RPA starts and it, how it evolves. It is important to understand that uh, RPA is just a beginning of the evolution chain to get to artificial intelligence or to end-to-end -to -end automation, as I like to call it. So usually with the ma automating the manual and repetitive with robotic process automation, we get 60% of the activities done. Now, then once we add a little bit of cognitive RPA with some machine learning or some natural language processing, some chatbot action, we automate, we start automating more and more until we reach artificial intelligence and we have automated pretty much the entire, uh, the entire process. This shows a breakdown of how different technologies combined with RPA can help you achieve end-to-end -end automation. There is also a lot of intelligent automation tools that do all kinds of different things that help us automate processes end-to-end. -end. Now, if we put all of these together, we are able to automate a process end-to-end. -end. Now, this is important because Microsoft Power Automate, Flow, and Desktop try to do everything that all of these cool tools do together. Well, that might be a little bit of an overstatement because all of these tools have excellent functionalities in many of the things that they do. But the idea behind what Microsoft is doing is that they want to provide a service that is going to cover everything inside of the whole uh, automation chain, meaning automating a process end to end. So that is why it is also important to learn Microsoft Power Automate Flow and Desktop. It is also important to understand that Power Automate is part of the Power Platform from Microsoft. And the Power Platform gives you the capabilities to create chatbots, to do analytics, to automate things, to create low-code apps with Power Apps and chatbots with virtual agents and reports and analytics with BI and automation with Power Automate. Now, with all of that in mind, Power Microsoft, with also the machine learning services provided on Azure, is trying to really be a complete solution to help you automate processes and end. Now, this is not a promotional message. This is just to say that uh, Power Automate is integrated inside of a suite of other components that eventually, and or also right now, 
can help you automate not th just things with RPA, but also using intelligent automation. We are not going to see how we are going to use Power Apps, Power BI, and Power Virtual Agents, but we are going to use AI inside of our automation projects in this course. Now, with all of that in mind, what is going to happen with the work as we know it today? Work as we know it today focused around doing processes inside of companies that are usually manual and repetitive in nature because they are required by the business to operate on a daily basis. Processes like payroll, like accounts receivable, accounts payable, onboarding an employee, offboarding an employee, and processes like this. All of these processes are very repetitive in nature, and if we manage to automate them first with RPA, initially enhance them, and then with automation, then I have a question for you. What do you think is going to happen with inside of our workplace? Are we going to lose many jobs or is there going to be a uh, creation of different jobs? There is different theories about this. I leave this for you to decide.